Hey, good evening, everybody. Hope you're doing very well. Philicon, your boy here. We're going to try to do an update in less than 10 minutes, okay? So today is Wednesday, the 7th, August. It's about 8 p.m. here in Istanbul, Turkey. And I'm going to update you because Bitcoin actually made a move finally. A move after hitting the bottom over here. So welcome, everybody. For those that don't know me, my name is Philicon. I've been in the crypto space now for about nine years. It started with like $2,000 to my name living in my parents basement having like a crazy ethereum mining rig way back in the days getting like a, an ethereum like every few days mining it was just wild when ethereum was under ten dollars and here we are nine years later in crypto and i'm going to try to provide you with the best possible technical analysis here on twitter so bitcoin had some significant lows that ended up breaking to the downside we broke this huge may low Okay, which was about $56,600, okay, right, right around there. And because we broke it, like I thought it was going to bounce back up. You can see very, very quickly that it bull trapped above here. But also acknowledge this significant resistance. Okay, Stay till the end, guys. This is important. Stay with me. It made a wedge type pattern. And then it broke to the downside. It bull trapped above that major resistance. So now the next support level is going to be down over here. Okay, it's probably going to get back down to 53,000 in my opinion, 53,300, which must hold. If it doesn't hold, it's going to be catastrophic, okay? Because if it doesn't hold there, the last chance is for a quick double bottom. Okay, the double bottom is down over there. And if that double bottom doesn't hold, I promise you guys that we're going to hit $44,000. Okay, so this is crucial for you guys to understand that there's still a possibility, in my opinion, to get anywhere down over here, even even 40K. I think it's even possible if this low right here ends up breaking. We're talking about the previous low here, like around 48,000 something. Okay, if that low breaks 48,900, we will 100% certainty get below $48,000. Because then all of these will have been taken out. Okay, this this got taken out. This got taken out too. So now because it got taken out, this is going to be the range that we're going to be in. It is green box. And then that range goes all the way down to about $40,000. Now, many people are asking me. So keep in mind that I predicted this $48,000. And I'm one of the first people that predicted it. I was absolutely hated on social media because nobody wants to hear that but unfortunately you guys must hear that okay so there's also something called the weekly chandelier exit indicator which has been a very strong indicator for the bullish run ever since we reached the bottom back in january of 2023 okay so this has been held bullishly green the entire time so this must hold guys it must hold with 100 percent certainty if it doesn't hold then you're going to see those lower levels that I talked about. So this is going to be a good time to DCA. And if you guys have cash on hand, like I, I strongly recommend that you take the chance and go from there. So the way the market is trending right now is, is um, it's, it's bullish, okay? Because we recovered like 15, 16% total, but we didn't stay above that particular range of 56,400. So because of that, the correction is now occurring. But the good news is short term, sure, we corrected. But longer term, we're still seeing it hold above the weekly. Now, I need to remind you guys that on the weekly over here, okay, we have broken many times below it. So just take a look after we reached the bottom in, for example, in 20, 2016 or 2015 before the 2017 bull market began. Okay, You guys need to understand that the weekly is meant to be broken. It's not always going to stay green. Sometimes it gets green, but it recovers. Or sorry, it gets red, below the red, and it recovers. Sometimes it gets below the red, and it recovers. It happens many times. Right here as well, it breaks Okay, on the weekly. Right here, okay, you, you guys can see that it eventually starts rallying extremely hard. And then the weekly is a significant factor to talk about the downtrend. And when it breaks upwards... That's where like a reliable bull market could begin or even a temporary one. And then you see that in 2019, after reaching the bottom, we stayed green for a while, but then eventually it breaks to red once and then it just keeps going, as you can see, till the end. 
it breaks again here, and then it breaks upwards over here, okay? But that's kind of a late indicator. What I'm getting to is that the weekly chart held bearish the entire time for 370 something days, and then it turns green. So I wanna be firm with you that don't be surprised if it breaks, because I've just demonstrated that over the past two bull markets, there have been periods where it did end up breaking to the downside. So if I had to make a wild prediction right now, which I know you guys love my predictions because I'm very accurate, highly, highly accurate. Over the years, anybody that's been following me will know that my accuracy rate is extremely high. My, my strike rate is very high. My day trading profits are very high as well. I rarely take losing trades nowadays because of the trade setups. And that goes towards another thing, okay? When you are developing your skills as a trader, don't go for every single trade. This is one of the best advice that I can give you. So please remember this, okay? If you go for every single trade that you see that you might be able to capitalize on, you're not actually specializing in anything. You're just kind of the jack of all trades, hunting for any profit that you can. But once you become highly specialized in a few strategies, and you know how to wait patiently for these ones, and you know how to ride them to the maximum amount, that's where your biggest profit is going to be. Because now you've started to fine tune, you've started to optimize, and you've started to develop a specific strategy that you're really good at, and you know how to maximize these profits. And then if you don't see these setups come into play, you simply just don't take them. One of the hardest things that a trader can learn to do is build discipline and patience. Because sometimes a trader won't find anything for like, and like a newer trader, they won't find something for days at a time. And then they get itchy, they wanna trade, they have that, that urge to make profit. So they're gonna like try to, try to force these trades instead of letting the trades come to you. Sometimes I'm not gonna take any trades for a long time, but if the trade is calling out to me and I see the perfect setup that's highly probable for you to win, that also has a great risk to reward, that has many confluent reasons to enter this trade, then you would take the trade. So you must be able to have patience to only enter the trades that you have a very, very high gut feeling about winning. Not that your feelings have anything to do with it, but looking at the stars like, yeah, this is very confluent. Yeah, this is a great risk to reward. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna go in my favor. And once you can find these setups and stick to them and these setups only, that's where the majority of your profits are gonna come from in a bull market, okay? So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. So based off of the volatility indicator right now, there's actually no real coins that are moving anymore in the past 24 hours, except for AM, like AMB has moved, okay? So AMB has moved a lot. And whenever you use this indicator of mine, you should be looking at, for example, AMB, it moved. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to that coin on TradingView and you're gonna see what ended up happening, right? And then you might have an opportunity to trade it. So that's the beauty of this indicator. And just so you guys know, there's a huge sale on right now. Many people have been asking for this. So by popular demand, it's back. There's an 80% off sale. It's normally 1450. It's on sale 80% to $300. This indicator alone is $150. I spent so much time and energy developing it and money that it's gonna be one of the best weapons that you have to gauge the market and to also find volatile coins to trade. So you part of the $300, you get that, okay? So that's 150 alone. So the other 150 you pay to make it 300, you're gonna get my Emergency Bull Market Survival Guide Day Trading Course. Probably one of the best courses you will ever take for day trading to learn a lot about, about my strategies, okay? Not only that, you're gonna get access for life to my private Discord group as well that focuses on trading and also education. You're also gonna get an older course the 2024 Investor's Guide, but it talks about my portfolio and how to manage it. So take advantage of this, guys. It's only on sale till Friday. So other than that, my best advice to everybody is just to wait, give it some time to see if Bitcoin is going to break below these lows over here. This low over here is critical to hold, 53,300. If that doesn't hold and we challenge a double bottom, it's probably gonna end up breaking to somewhere below $48,000. So stay safe, everybody. Congratulations if you're still here. If you're not liquidated, just simple advice I can give you is make sure that you're not leveraging, okay? Don't get liquidated this market. Your number one job is to not be greedy. If you can control your greed and your discipline, those profits will come slowly. 
And the best trades are the ones that you wait for, the ones that come to you. Don't force these trades. The profits will come and better days will come too. So have yourself a great night and I look forward to having many of you as my students. Not only that, if you guys enjoy the content that I'm releasing, make sure you just thank me by letting me know that you like it with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have yourselves a great night and thank you for joining me. Bye now.